Prices go up. The advice from health experts remains the same. Socially distance and wear a mask. But Marlisa Goldsmith, there's some debate. What kind of mask actually works best? Yeah, there's a lot of talk about this, Craig. At this point in the pandemic, there are so many different options when it comes to choosing a mask or face covering, ranging from your N95 mask like this one all the way to gaiters like this one. The study shows these might actually make things worse. And tonight, we verify. In a study published by Duke University last week, findings show not all face coverings are effective at blocking the spread of coronavirus. Dr. Eric Westman, an associate professor at Duke University's medical school, had the physics department test the effectiveness of different types of masks and face coverings. In today's daily COVID-19 press briefing, Dr. Jose Romero, Arkansas's top doctor with the Department of Health, was questioned about the findings of the study. This group of investigators looked at different materials. I believe they looked at 14 different types of material with regard to masks. In the study, scientists found N95 masks, the ones used by healthcare workers, worked best at stopping the spread of respiratory droplets during regular speech. A surgical mask was a close second. Less effective was the bandana. While it offers a unique look, the study found it let through about 50% of as many particles as someone not wearing a mask at all. And the least effective option tested by scientists was the gator. I, I would not recommend, based on that particular article, uh, the use of gators. It's the neck fleece, often worn by runners to pull over their face like a mask. The sample tested by Duke researchers actually made things worse. Instead of stopping droplets from escaping, it turned larger droplets into smaller ones that stayed in the air longer. So cotton masks, um, these, uh, the uh, polyester masks, uh, they work very, very well. They work almost as well as surgical masks, which is really very nice to know. What don't work well, although they're very fashionable, are the, 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 the gators. Um, and I'm glad I didn't buy one um, because uh, they actually disseminate the spread of the, of, of the plume, if you will, of, um, of respiratory secretions outward and may actually promote it. So we can verify gaiters and neck fleeces are the least effective face covering you can wear to prevent the spread of coronavirus. And remember, folks, there is still a mask mandate here in Arkansas that requires a mask at all outdoor and indoor public spaces where you cannot keep six feet of distance. If you ever want something verified, let us help. You can email us at verify at thv11.com or simply reach out to me directly on social media.